That same night, there were shepherds who were keeping watch over their flocks in a field. This was a job that was reserved for the lowest in society, to care for the sheep in their overnight watch. And it was to them that an angel of the Lord appeared, and the glory of God blazed around them. And the first thing that the angel says to them is, do not be afraid. And I've always found that interesting. I mean, how could they not be afraid when all of a sudden the night sky was lit up with God's glory? But the angels continued by saying, we bring you good news. It will be a great joy for all the people. Because a Savior has been born this day in David's town of Bethlehem. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And this is what you're to look for. That you're to go and to find a baby who's been wrapped in blankets and who is lying in a manger. And just as soon as that angel had finished his message, a great host of angels appeared in the sky and they were all singing this, this angelic chorus of glory to God in the highest, peace to all men and women on earth who please him. The angels left to return to heaven. Put yourself for just a second in the shepherd's shoes. Imagine what it must have been like for them to have this absolutely divine experience. An experience unlike they'd had at any other point in their lives. These men who were so often overlooked and were outcasts. And it was to them that God's message of hope and salvation was revealed. Imagine what it must have been like for them. On a night, maybe like the one you're standing in right now, if God's glory shone all around. Let's continue our journey. And on our next step, we're going to meet some travelers who are in search of a new king that was told to them by a star.